Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have another review for Taco Jesus Hot Sauce. What a name, right? Uh, this company is based in Largo, Florida, and these products were sent to me from the owner, Jeff Krupper. Now, uh, Jeff and his company uh, recently won a second place World Hot Sauce Award uh, for the marketing category uh, back in July at the uh, World Hot Sauce Awards held in Louisiana. So congratulations on that, Jeff. Now, Taco Jesus Hot Sauce has a saying, and it is this. On the eighth day, he created Taco Jesus Hot Sauce, and it was good. All right, so we're going to continue on with these reviews. I'm going to be reviewing his Mango Habanero today from Taco Jesus. Check out that label. Very cool. All right, now the sodium on this one is listed at zero milligrams, so that's cool. Now, the ingredients, uh, we start off with Mango Pulp. Water, carrot, sugar, lemon juice, habanero pepper, tomato paste, onion, cane vinegar, acidic acid, salt. I, bet, I guess there's so little of it that it didn't have to register any. A citric acid, ascorbic acid, and garlic powder. Now, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this already, but um, this has a, a really nice color on it, as you would expect from a, a mango hot sauce you know, a fruit-based hot sauce, so very nice consistency. It looks like you can see some pieces of um, possibly the peppers or maybe some mango pulp, just a little bit, but uh, for the most part, it is uh, pretty much pureed up. It's a very smooth sauce. Now, let's check out the aroma. Now, what is really interesting on this one, and I really like this about it, is that you can smell fresh mangoes, and at the same time, you get a nice... Uh, a zesty uh, lemon citrus um, aroma as well. And it doesn't smell real strong in peppers, but uh, just a really nice combination of fresh ripe mangoes and at the same time lemons. Not too strong in lemons. You didn't overdo it, but just I love that combination. I don't think I've had that before. A lot of times mango sauces are just really focused on the fruit. Um, this has a unique vibe to it. I can smell some onions a little bit as well, and then just a very small uh, hint of hint of garlic. And it's got carrots in it as well, so it uh, kind of has a nice uh, spicy vegetable type uh, aroma to it as well. But really upfront, fresh mangoes, and then lemons. So it's a really awesome uh, aroma combination. All right, here we go. Pours really nice. Okay. Mm. Mm, very nice. Very smooth. Very creamy. Very savory. Um, fresh mangoes is what you get. You get that. It smell. It tastes exactly like it smells. You get that nice fresh uh, mango sweetness uh, in combination with a nice lemon zestiness. Just a little bit. Not too strong in lemons. You get a nice savoriness coming from the uh, the onions and the carrots, and then just kind of a hint of a garlic there at, there at the end. Uh, and once again, you know it's not salty, um, but I kind of wish it would have had more habaneros in it. Uh, it's just not picking up a whole lot of heat on this. Uh, he's got it rated as a medium on his website, but it's definitely lower than that. But uh, before we get into the ratings, uh, what do you do with a mango hot sauce? Well, this stuff would be awesome on chicken or fish. Um, but here's a picture of what I did. I put this on some pizza, and I just love a, uh, a fruit-based hot sauce on pizza, so it was very, very good. Um, <coughs> on flavor, I would give this a strong 7 out of 10 for flavor. And on heat, uh, to me, it's very mild. It's uh, much lower than medium. Uh, so I, I would just give this a 2 out of 10 for heat, but uh, pretty good hot sauce. Once again, I love the, uh, the flavor combination of the mangoes and the lemon. I think that's really what stands out about this hot sauce, so it's uh, pretty good. So this one's recommended, guys. So check it out at Taco Jesus Hot Sauce and the website. I'll put the link down in the description, but it's thetacojesus.com. All right, Jeff, thank you very much for sending this one, and everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for lots more reviews, and until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.